hello everyone and good morning and this is our what we can say a workshop free workshop uh, mostly i will explain what exactly we are what exactly our cloud and devops program okay and what exactly we have to learn to become a aws engineer in the today's and tomorrow sessions okay and what we are we are going to explain that part into the today's session okay and uh, vinith has bring up the question that he is from the noc team and he is already working on this part okay this part means i can say that prometheus and grafana stack with helm okay means module 7 kind of work not exactly the installation not installing not related to the configuration but he is using the tools uh, vinit are you agree right yeah yeah i agree right you are using that tool you are good into the what we can say operation activities but at this point you i am suggesting you you must have to learn the installation and configuration so that i can say that from this roadmap of devops you will complete the module 7 automatically you don't have to go anywhere for you don't have to learn this thing from anywhere else if you will get it complete in your company and this will be the part from here you are already into this place. You have to learn some more things related to the AWS or related to the Linux as well as related to the cloud and you will become a DevOps engineer. It makes sense? Yeah. yeah. And this is what we are going to learn in our actual batch, which we are going to start on 12th of December. It means from Monday onwards, 8 a.m. IST, we are starting a new batch. In that batch, we are going to learn all these things with real time projects with actual uh, with 30 real time practicals plus three real time projects as well which i am going to give it to you plus everything whatever we are going to discuss whatever i will demonstrate it all the ppts videos code everything i will give it to you and this training is completely online led means online i'm in front of you i'm live okay and i will provide it the training like that only you can unmute and you can talk the question anytime if i'm going very fast you can say that sir things are going fast can you make it a little bit slow yes i can do that part or whatever things you want to suggest give the feedback you can you can unmute and you can talk at that time particular time as well plus after learning we will create our resume we will put the projects whatever the projects we have written learning it we will put into our resumes and then i will help you out how to upload into the nokri and we will i will take your lots of mock interviews and i will prepare you to get a job as a devops engineer or a cloud engineer into one of the big events okay this is what my aws and devops complete program okay and this workshop is just uh, what we can say uh, some small days okay if you will come to my website cloud devops hub i'm just putting into the chat right if you will come to this website uh, you will see that within next one day we are going to start one batch okay and this is the workshop which we are just doing it at this point okay and i would like to show the syllabus okay this is the complete batch syllabus which is available here click here for the complete syllabus if you will open it you will see that on which day what we have to learn it okay the day one day two and day four related things we have already discussed when raja was into that class okay last batch last time okay means last Saturday Sunday and this time we are not going more deeper into the topics but I would like to start a little bit on AWS as well okay because this is a three weekend workshop okay so AWS related thing the day nine and day ten related things plus our program related information we are going to discuss into the today's session okay or if anything we missed it into the today's part we will cover up into the next means tomorrow uh, what we can say tomorrow ec2 will come into the picture some more practicals related to ec2 plus some more practicals related to s3 will come into the tomorrow's class okay plus we will create one of the database also into the tomorrow class okay so to, today's agenda is like an overview plus Secondly, overview, history, global infrastructure, data centers, we will talk about it and very high level of AWS services means what all services you have to learn for to become an AWS engineer that thing we are going to we are going to discuss in the today's part and tomorrow we'll start EC2, we'll discuss the theory part of EC2 plus we will do one practical of EC2. We will discuss S3 theoretically plus we will do one practical from S3 plus in the tomorrow class only we will learn about the what we can say database that is rds and 
if possible if time permits we will do the practical of uh, what we can say practical of a database as well that is rds we will create a mysql rds okay the basics of everything which we are going to discuss it today's and tomorrow session okay this is the workshop thing and as i'm informing that this is it's a small part from my actual batch this is my actual batch aws plus devops online training and placement program which we are going to start on from monday onwards and here we will discuss all the nine modules nine modules details are available in the website if you will come down a little bit there is a roadmap all the modules the module one module two module three in the very first module we will discuss about the devops foundation means how to become a devops engineer that all things will be there as i given one suggestion to, for vineet as i given one suggestion for uh, who is that name sachin right sachin you also talk with me correct yes yeah. yes so, same thing means uh, sachin is from the desktop support engineer and he want to become a devops engineer so i suggested at least you are you know windows very well so you have to learn the linux also okay sachin if you will see my last recording also okay which we have which we did it in the last weekend so here is our youtube channel i am just giving you the link into the chat okay and here if you will see the playlist in the playlist there is a workshop okay so what is my suggestion for you must check uh, must check all the three videos it will be very good one part if you are not able to check all the videos at least check uh, this video you will get interest to see the previous video also okay because here it's a complete practicals we did into the linux and if you at least if you see this two classes also what i can suggest uh, you will be able to write little bit theoretical part of linux also in your resume make sense yes sure cool. and in the complete module we have nine different modules for the learning or to become a devops engineer it's a 50 plus what we can say live training which i'm going to provide it to you this time i'm talking more into the theory part okay but in the actual classes we are primarily focused on the practical theory whatever the theory is required to understand or to digest then with the help of practical we will understand the theory as well okay so 40 percent theory and 60 percent will be the practical and we will start from very basic you don't have to learn anything of previous knowledge is required to join me okay if you don't know anything but you you have a mindset you want to come into the it yes you are welcome we will start from the cloud computing as well and all the devops related thing means we from monday onwards we are going to start from a day one yes and then we will go into the order with assignments yes i as soon as you will complete we will complete one topic i will give you the assignments also at the end of the module so that some interview questions will get prepared every time three real time projects also i will give it to you project means you you just have to understand you just have to understand their code okay how the functionality how it's work you have to understand that part plus how to write into your resume that also i will give you the details you have to write it into your resume i will explain you whatever i am going to explain you you have to explain the same thing into the interview that this is the end-to-end -end project you have worked this all modules you have worked into that part this is your role this is your team role and this much practical related thing you did into the next four months or last five months you did it that you can say into this real-time project and that will be your real-time project as a devops engineer for your resume okay and weekend workshop also like that we are talking we are discussing right so weekend workshop also we are doing it i'm organizing every week every weekend or alternate weekend or twice in a weekend kind of thing okay so that type of weekend workshop also we will do it so that you can interact with some new persons as well okay for extra learning or some new student also want to join me so this type of things we are doing it plus interview preparation every wednesday 9 p.m ist 9 p.m ist every wednesday we have a mock interviews everyone all my previous batch student anyone will come into that and we will i will take the mock interview or i will bring some external person to take the interview so that you will get prepared for the real time learnings as well okay so this is my weekend we can what we can say every wednesday 9 p.m interview preparation or mock interviews we are happening around six to seven every student will give the mock interview and he will get prepared for the real time job as well 
resume making for interview calls yes obviously we will create the resume also and with the help of resume i will teach you how to get the referrals i will provide lots of referrals plus how to get the calls from the nokri that also i will teach okay and you will get lots of calls you will be very satisfied with it okay and as soon as you will go get a call you have already prepared it you will crack it and you will get a job and you will work whatever the real time things we have learned into this practicals okay this practicals means practical one practical two practical four five six seven eight twenty thirty whatever it is right all the things you are going to implement in your real-time company as well and my ppts my code will be very helpful for you to perform the activity into the real time as well okay i hope you understood this part yes or no yes yes uh, Prasad, Raja, Sai, Vineet. Are yes or no, please? Okay. What about Sai, Yogesh? There are very less students are there, right? So we can talk more about more in that. Yes. <laughs> cool, cool, good. And, okay, I will, sir. Yeah. and I will take care of all questions. Why, how, what, when, where, how come, all the questions you can talk with me always. Anytime you can discuss these questions with me. Okay, you don't have to worry for that part. Plus, you will get a community support uh, from the WhatsApp. Uh, if you will see my WhatsApp, how exactly it looks like. Uh, 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 all the batch, B A T C H 20. Okay, you can see here. Let me close all these things into this window this type of community support will you will get it okay if you will see a batch 27 batch 22 23 27 26 27 22 13 14 17 28 all the batch students i am talking always it's not like i am only talking with some particular student. no if you will see here i always responded to my all the batch student okay Prasanji batch 16 okay you can see a batch 25 17 17 this is not very old, latest only every time. Okay. Every time we are discussing with our students as well. Okay. You can see here best 26, best 23, 25, 27, 26. All the students I'm talking every time. Okay. And you will see thank you, thank you, thank you means I'm responding that. That's why I'm getting a thanks. Agree? Agree or not agree? Completely agree. Right. So here all the details and all the batches of students are here. You can see here I'm talking with my best 13 very latestly. I will say you uh, 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 16 batch 13 channel 13. Okay. Any student uh, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. R A J N I S H. Okay. When I talk with best 13 students, you can see here. Raja, I save your number. Okay. Last time you talked with me. Okay. So I just save your number. Rajni 13. See, Tuesday I talk with this person also. Okay. Means I'm talking with my old students as well. Always. Okay. Cool. And yeah, I can say that yes, we are providing a WhatsApp support as well to you. Okay. If you have any questions, you can post into the group. You will get a response from the group. Plus, if you have a, some personal questions, you can talk with me as well. Okay. And plus, we have a community support as well. If I'm talking about the community, means we have a Facebook group also, which has around 53,000 members. Okay. 53,000 members are there. You can post your questions here as well. And this is the person, me. Okay. Who is the, mod what we can say, moderator or admin of this group. Around 53,000 DevOps engineers or we can say DevOps engineers are there. You can post your questions here publicly and you can ask the questions or you can discuss your theory into the group or publicly as well. We will allow you that part as well. Okay. So you don't have to worry. And some more people are posting into the site reliability engineer offshore and like that. Some people are providing that video, that things also that we are allowing it. Okay. Some on-site opportunity related information also. Some pro some students are providing. You can talk with them directly as well. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about the community support. Okay? Plus whatever the PPT recordings we are seeing at this point. Okay. This PPT, this PPT, I will give you to you for the lifetime. You don't have to 
ask again and again with me i will upload into the google drive and you can take it or upload take it anytime wherever you want okay see i will show you something like uh batch 27 okay which is my last batch all the ppt's recording ppt's ppt's okay like module one ppt all the ppt's are available into this like this day one day two day three whatever the ppt's will be there every ppt and all the details will be available this type of drive and this drive has a particular access only for my registered student okay so you can see here whatever is my student they have the access they can view it from this place as well okay plus all the modules ppts we are providing it's not providing in one shot okay we i will create a new drive as soon as it will get complete it will get uploaded directly into this place okay this batch is completed that's why this all things plus some resumes because you have to create your resume so you need a dummy resumes as well that dummy resumes also get uploaded for the freshers as well as for the experienced person plus i have a one very big resume okay which will help you to copy some data from this resume to your resume okay sample resume one sample resume two and kind of thing there are 20 what we can say 16 or 17 pages are there in this resume okay yeah 16 pages are there whatever you like the points you can take and write into your resume understand and write into your resume if you will read this uh, what we can say this resume you after learning with me you will understand that yes i am aware about this all things i can add it to my resume as well so this type of things we are always providing plus these are the this i am talking about the resume ebooks some experienced persons are there like raja he is telling nine years experience so how the nine i can help you out for the nine or ten years experienced people as a devops engineer some ebooks are there okay which will be for the extra knowledge for him some ebooks i am providing it and this notes are kind of very simple thing if i will show you something okay like aws how simple it has been written it is started from very basic and it will go into the deep kind of thing okay plus if you will see some more uh, cloud computing notes the notes can be of handwritten as well okay to understand betterly this type of notes also i am providing to you guys okay very simple if you will under i will also explain this part if you have any question you can ask with me also but this type of handwritten notes also we are providing it to understand very goodly or very good you will understand the things okay with theory as well as with practical these are some ebooks which we are providing it extra things okay and plus all the modules or software installation because as a devops engineer we have to deal with multiple softwares as well so some software installation documents as well as if i get some good video from the internet or my video i will upload it here as well as topic wise interview question all the topics related interview questions will also be here okay means whatever the topic we are discussing it cloud computing devops linux git jenkins aws aws cicd gcp plus Kubernetes, Selenium, virtual machines, all the topic wide interview question will also be available into this. This is not my data. This is the student data of batch 27. Okay, not my. All the, uh, this is I already provided to the batch 27 student. If you will see here, the access related thing can be visible into this place. Okay, yes. Right. Uh, who is Parth was telling, right? Parth is P A R. -T. Yes, sir. Yep. Parth, Parth, where is your name? What's Parth? What's your email ID? It's S A R T H I P A R T H I. S A R T H I. Okay, yeah, Sarthi Part Twenty. Okay, <laughs> yeah. See, I think the same face you can see. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. So they already they have the access. They don't have to worry. And one more, and very. Uh, let's come into the point. This is the online live training. Always like me, you can talk with me. Tips and tricks we will discuss. At the end, I will provide you the training certificate as well if you want. Okay. Resume preparation and yes, you can get your dream job also with us. Plus, uh, where is that good point? Uh -uh. Yeah, the last point. The very good thing, if you miss the batch with any of the reason, any of the reason you missed it, your shift or you don't, you are busy in this time or you have any function in your house, you lost your batch, you don't have to worry. You can come to my next batch also free of cost. I will not charge. As I was telling to Raja, if you want to come to the weekend batch, no need to worry. You can come into this batch also. How many days you want to attend? Attend. Otherwise, you can come to my weekend batch also because I am the only trainer. You are already my student. So why should I charge you again? I will not charge you. Okay. So my most of the students will repeat the sessions 
to understand more yes that is also allowed okay so that's a very big point i am giving to you guys okay plus this is my website cloud devops of here you will see almost whatever the basic information points or what we can say my number my youtube channel link my social media pages when the next batch is going to start you don't have to ask with me the detail will be always available here okay and if any of the workshop will be there the workshop related information will also be here how to register it just click here it will get registered and how you can join the new batch also you can click it to this registration link or this page and you will register into the batch as well okay complete syllabus you don't have to ask with me sir what you are teaching tomorrow what you are teaching day after tomorrow the list is already available the details is already available you can bookmark this page and you will get the detail you will get the answer automatically okay because see sometime and whatever the things we are going to complete i will make it green like this that these things we have already discussed so i will make it green like that and you can understand yeah this is already covered and whatever is pending if you will tell me that sir this keyword is not yet completed this part you haven't completed so i will make it red in front of you only and we will discuss into the today's part tomorrow or whenever possible we will discuss that part and we will complete that topic as well means so after joining with me you will get this all things for sure okay that is a very good part that what we have to learn on which day you are aware from the day one itself okay and syllabus is very transparent you can see it's a public you can see anytime if you want you can come to my website and click here for the complete syllabus you can see anytime you don't have to worry okay and after that you will say that sir what is your last batch progress okay last batch recording you can come into this link okay this place this is my youtube channel okay last batch 25 some four or five videos okay day one day two day three day four five four five days videos i will put into the youtube plus after 30 days direct one shot after 30 days what my student learn with me okay how they are giving the feedback you can see here as well after 30 days we will do the presentation also what my students and learn with me they are giving the reverse kt to everyone and this all details is available into this video it's a two hour 10 minute video you can go and have a look into this video also what students has provided the what students has learned in the 30 days is the details are available here straight forward public no need to worry and after some couple of days how they get placed okay how the fresher also get placed into the paytm into hipla technology or big mncs you can see here as well and after one month of the batch complete or two months of the batch complete i will talk with my again students means like this i will create a session we will talk again and you can see in this 54 minute how many students has been placed all the details are available into the youtube no need to uh, no need to worry for anything these are the playlist for the live recordings what student learn into the 30 days you can click into this link you will get to know all the presentations okay presentation 26 batch 25 batch we have started from 25 26 batches only so these details are available into this okay plus some success story means how many placement what students are giving the feedbacks okay you can see into this place batch 27 feedback 25 feedback 25 feedback and some more 22 23 like that feedbacks are available here don't say that's a very the batch number one video it's a five years back and that time we are not doing the recording sorry <laughs> okay if due to covid time only we are starting and we are doing the live we are doing the online trainings is that fine yes sir. yes yes because right <clears throat> before that before that we are creating a posters kind of thing and we are publishing that okay and that poster i cannot put into the youtube so i haven't post i haven't put anything okay so like that these details are available into the youtube okay what extra benefits you will get 24 by 7 lifetime access led training tips and training interview preparation full access of the previous batch recording also if you want i can give it to you let us assume you are joining batch 28 and you are telling sir i need a best 27 videos also access or ppt access can you give i can give no need to worry because what will happen the benefit is you will get all these things which we have created in the three months you will get in one shot okay that i can provide it to you plus if you are free let assume you are free you want to run fast why should i stop you i will give you the previous batch recordings as well which is available with me every time 
okay so i will add your name here so that account creation day one day two day three seven all the 17 20 25 30 35 40 whatever the videos are there see 44 47 50 around 47 48 these recordings are here okay 48 means how many 48 49 classes should be there yes all the recordings are day wise available here okay plus account creation how to create a knockery profile okay review for Ravan, interview discussion project one project two project three some referrals resume making workshop 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 all the recordings will be here plus i took some mock interviews also mock interviews details also here m1 mock interview one with this person utkarsh for your experience soon he will get the offer as soon as i will take the mock interview i will get to know that when you will make the offer okay and very first i told to about this person that he will get a job soon okay he will make an offer soon and in the success story you can see your best 27 you can see this person utkarsh has already moved to the company okay and yeah see utkarsh this is the utkarsh person where is this person uh i don't remember yeah this person is the utkarsh person he already moved internally okay you can see his record video as well okay like that i am taking the mock interview so that i can understand that when you are going to make an offer okay like that all the six seven mock interviews will happen around in within two months or three months duration this all recordings i will put it and if you will come after six months also your recording will go into the another batch agree with my point this thing happens okay so it's a very straightforward we are providing all the information into the drives uh, yep and you are getting the training with me i have around 11 plus year of experience in a devops itself okay and interview preparation tips and tricks everything i'm going to teach into my live classes with you guys okay and as soon as you will join join us you are welcome to start a journey to start a journey of devops plus aws and we are going to learn devops tools and their operation on aws cloud this point is very important what we are going to learn we are going to learn the devops tools means around 10 devops tools we are going to learn and their operation configuration installation related activities on aws cloud means we are learning the aws cloud as well as the devops tools both yes that's my training okay that is my that is the name i'm given aws plus devops okay and basic IT knowledge, if you have, you are aware about it, how the companies work, how the things run into the IT, it will be very helpful for us. But I will explain everything. How I will explain means, let's assume uh, in this group, uh, Raja. Okay, Raja, I meet with Raja last week only. And I know I am aware about it. Raja is has around eight, 10 years or 9 years of experience into the data center. So what I will tell to Raja, Raja, whatever you know, little bit things, okay? Can you explain to everyone because you have 10 years of experience and in the data center, if you will take 20 minutes or 5 minutes, you will explain what you are doing it. It will be helpful for the freshers. Agree? So I will cross knowledge. I will make the cross knowledge with other students as well. Let's assume someone uh, who has experience of testing. So I will tell that, can you explain what you are doing from the last one or two years into the testing and explain to the complete batch yes the what we can that particular person will explain into the classroom okay like that so i can say that ex, you will get a cross knowledge from others as well except uh, with me okay and we will cover the top devops tools and top aws services if you will see my syllabus we are learning the very important things which are very popular or you must have to learn it Linux will be there, AWS top 10 services we are going to learn. We are going to learn Git, Jenkins, most popular tool for every company. Okay, Docker and Kubernetes, it should be must if you want to move into the containerization technology. Ansible and Terraform for the infrastructure creation and infrastructure operation. Prometheus Grafana is the monitoring tool, plus Splunk is the monitoring tool, which is going to be used in every company if they are moving into the Kubernetes environment. So that is also a must. Plus, I will teach you some basics of shell scripting, plus how to learn a Python also, okay? Because if you will write this Python keyword that you are aware about basics of Python, you can ask five lakh more. You can ask five lakh more. And if you will do one, one certification, okay, the basics of AWS cloud Dictionary certification, you can ask two, three lakhs more into, into your package. 
okay that is just the icing because sometimes they don't want a programmer kind of person to you but they will feel that if you know python means you are from the good background you are from the strong background you are from the development background that's a good part so i will teach that also in my batches okay plus projects so obviously will be required because the very first question after the introduction the question will come okay can you explain your project and whatever you like whatever they are asking in their job description if the pro if they are doing this they are hiring you for the ci cd you can explain this project if their requirement is for the kubernetes you can explain the kubernetes project if you feel that you are going for the infra role or you are moving from a support profile to the infra so what you can say you can explain the project three means all varieties of project completely different but the learning which you will you which you will learn in the last for two months with me that you can achieve this thing into the project with us okay and anyone from here if you want to see the project related information you can un you can unmute and say that sir i want to see your project one i want to see your project two ppt so i can exp i can show it at right away as well okay anyone here want to say that sir i want to see project one two three anyone any project you want to see at this point also you can let me know i will show Anyone, please. Uh, Vikas, uh, can you share for project three? Project three, you want to see? Yes, <clears throat> which is related to infra. Okay, cool. Chalo. Uh, first, let me tell you what exactly the project three is. Uh, project three is a three tier web based application. If I will ask the question with you guys only, what do you mean by three tier application? Guys, can you give me the answer? What is three tier application? Raja, it will go to you only if no one will give the answer. Three-tier application, I don't have any proper idea. Okay, no worries, no worries. It's my responsibility. I will explain. Let me open the project, okay? Uh, 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 uh. Three-tier application, okay? Where is that? Yeah, project three. You are talking about project three. And this is the project three, okay? Uh, let me explain you the theory first so that you will be clear. It's a three-tier web-based application on AWS. Uh, Raja, mute yourself. Means okay. three-tier application we are going to deploy in AWS using Terraform. Okay, means whatever we will learn into the Terraform classes, this class is Terraform, which is ex which is primarily for the three-year experience. Means introduction to Terraform and Terraform setup we will do into this place as well. Where is that? Uh, 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 one, sorry, yeah. Here is the Terraform related thing. Okay. Uh, practical 24, AWS resources, EC2, S3, VPC, SCL language, and all these things we are doing here. And we are taking the help from this classes, the class number 36, 37, and we are adding into this part. Means Terraform, we are using it. And then we are creating a 40 AWS services like this in AWS account. Okay. 40 plus AWS services we are going to learn in we are going to deploy into AWS for our three tier web based application. Have you understood the question? Have you understood the heading? Please, have you understood the question or not? Three tier application we are going to deploy in AWS cloud with the help of Terraform. And now the question is coming, sir, what is three tier? Chalo, let me tell you first. I'm opening my sheet. The very first thing is what is three tier? Three tier is a three different parts of the application. That is front end web application, web part. Second is the application layer. And third is a database where all the informations are getting saved. Uh, sir, what with any example for three tier application? Go to paytm.com, paytm.com. Okay. At this point, this page is a static page for you, for me, or for everyone. This page is very same. Agree? Yes or no? Paytm.com. At this point, it is a static page because I haven't logged in. This is the static page at this point. Yes, no. Guys, everyone. Yes, because Everyone, please. Sai, Shrikha, Shrikran, Shilaka. Yes, yes, yes. Right? At this point, Paytm.com. I hit it the website of Paytm and at this point it I am telling it's a static website because this time everything is very similar for everyone. Okay. Means 
I'm into the presentation layer or web layer of the Paytm.com. As soon as I will log in, as soon as I will log in into the Paytm, do you feel that after login, my page and your page will be same? No, no, no. No, right? My wallet balance will be visible will be visible to me. My orders will be visible to me. My history, whatever I'm searching into the Paytm, that will be visible for me. And for you, it will be different. Right? Means that time we are dealing with the application layer. Means application logics or application related information will be visible here. And how this information will be visible on the web layer because that information is saved into the database. Okay, means in the database, all the things are already there from the web, web end. I logged in into the website, okay, into the paytm.com. My information has been verified that this user, this account is available into that for the help of database. That all information is available into the application. Now that application, that details will be visible into the front end for me. Agree? Now you understood what is three tier application, front end, web application, middle layer, that is the application layer, and the last is back end is a database. These are the three different tiers of the application. Agree? Now, Raja, you got the answer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a three tier application. We are going to develop this type of application. Means we are going to develop the Paytm type of application in some couple of minutes. After that, what is the pre-request? You need a AWS account, you need a AWS access key, secret key, uh, that all things you are not aware at this point. The reason behind is that we have learned into the previous classes. Account creation. This meeting is being recorded. Uh, meeting is already recorded. You don't have to do anything. AWS account, AWS access key, which is related to IAM. CLI setup means AWS has a tool like AWS, okay? If you will see my screen, I will show you AWS, this type of command line for AWS, which is required to be installed in our machine. Okay. And that I will, we will help you out how to install it. All the software installation we will take care. And then GitHub account, why GitHub is required? Because code is available into the GitHub. Git bash to perform some commands and Terraform will be required in your machine to perform the activity. This all six P requests will be there. Then only you can achieve it. And we already did into the Terraform classes. Okay, that all things we have already did into the Terraform classes. Part one, AWS CLI, CLI installation, AWS account, credentials and configure. If you are, let me open my command prompt. If my things is here and I will type AWS, let me make a little bit bigger screen. AWS, C-O-N-F-I-G-U-R-E. This is one of the command, I will run it and you will see here, access key the access key the point number two is already available secret key the point number two and the second part secret key is already available i'm going to deploy into the us is two us is two will be my data center where the aws is getting connected from my local machine to my aws and then it will perform the activity means this setup is ready in my machine okay after this how Terraform works, I will explain to you guys because this project is related to the Terraform. Terraform has primarily four commands, init, plan and apply and then it will get created everything into the infrastructure into the AWS cloud. Then you will perform this activity. I will explain you this, what all things are going to develop. And then here is a code available. We will deploy the things into the US West 2, US West 2 data center of AWS. Then we will run some command in it, plan, apply and destroy. Anyone here who is little bit aware about Terraform? I heard about Terraform because, but uh, I don't know exactly. Because actually I have seen some, <clears throat> this is like Terraform is like, will be having kind of automation kind of things. Yep, I agree. Here is a code and run the command in it, plan and apply. Three commands you have to run it and your complete infrastructure will be ready in AWS cloud. VPC will be ready, subnet will be ready, EC2 instance will be ready, root tables will be ready, 
EC2 network interface will be ready. Load balancer will be ready. Target group will be ready. Auto scaling group will be ready. Launch template will be ready. Net gateway will get created. MySQL database will also get created. AWS security group also get created and the application will be up and running into the cloud. Like that. Okay, means with the help of Terraform, we are going to develop, sorry. Uh, where is that? Mm -mm. Yeah, with the help of Terraform, around 40 AWS services are going to create it with the help of Terraform. And infrastructure will get developed with the help of Terraform on AWS Cloud in this project. Hope it makes sense. Yes, it does. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. yeah. So like that, we will do all the things. Means with practicals, we are doing into the real time. So that it will be good. And after that, I'm just searching one more sheet. Terraform desktop. Yes. And as this is a project, so you have to, what you have to write in your resume. You have to write as a project three, e-commerce, online e-complication. You can write Paytm, GMart, whatever you want. Okay. Whatever the application name you want to write, you can write it. And what you did, three tier application on 40 AWS services deployment via Terraform. This is your area where you have worked it because they will put, they will ask what you did it. So you can say we have a three tier application. Even today also you can say that we have a three tier application. You can take the example of Paytm and we deployed 40 AWS services with the help of Terraform into the AWS cloud. What are 40 services? Here all the names are there. Security group, MySQL, Net Gateway, Launch Template, Auto Scaling, like that. All the names you can give it to them. Okay, and then you can say you work as a DevOps engineer into the infrastructure as a service part. Okay, because this is the infrastructure activity and write some one or two line related to PTM, Geomart or whatever you want. Okay, whatever you want, you can write it and then you can do whatever the roles and responsibility you have handled, like whatever the roles and responsibility, like involve into the planning and taking the decisions to choose multiple AWS resources. Why you are choosing AWS resources? Because you know you are an AWS engineer. That's why you choose AWS resources. Op operationalize and deploy the application with the users of 40 AWS resources services with the Terraform and manages the infrastructure with the help of Terraform, you can say. And there are some more points you can write it as a project into your resume. You can copy paste this part understand if you are explainable if you are thinking that any of the keyword is dif difficult remove that and at least write in your resume that means your project is ready yes no okay <clears throat> yes so my all the ppt sheets will be look like this okay like this only okay and this sheet i will, I will give it to you guys yep and like that, we have a practicals, assignments, key, 40% theory. I will be the only trainer. And then 60% will be the scenarios, practicals, like that. Okay. To join my course, I don't need any previous knowledge, nothing. Okay. If you are absolute be beginner, no previous knowledge of AWS cloud or anything, I don't require anything. We will start from very basic, means very basic of cloud computing. If you want to see what exactly the little bit part of cloud computing, you can see my previous last week workshop also. Okay. And I will provide you the enough knowledge with the real time scenarios as well. In the last class, we have created a one website like my website also. Uh, Raja, you have to confirm that, right? With the help yeah, of. Yeah, we have created tools, one. Right? Uh, yes. Right. One sample website. One sample website we have created, right? So so GitHub like, is created, I think. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, with the help of Docker primarily. Okay. So I will teach from very basic, you don't have to worry. Okay. And I will give you the enough knowledge for the real time scenarios as well. If you go to any of uh, any of the interview, you want to ask any of the question with me. Yes, at the end of the class, you can ask that question. We can discuss this into the classroom as well every time. Okay. Top AWS tools as well as AWS services. We are going to learn whatever the top AWS tools that is available into the roadmap aws services that is also available into the aws of 10 days part okay aws we will learn around 8 to 10 days okay here in the module 3 yeah here is the module 3 9 9 day 9 to day 18 means around 9 to 10 days of we will learn the aws okay and around 
10 AWS services, top AWS services, we are going to learn with practicals and very deeply. Okay. In this workshop, the very basics I can explain because I have written the name basics of AWS. Okay. And we will go very deep into this classes. Plus my primary intention, I will create a small group for batch 27, which I was telling uh, the batch 28 is going to start. Yes, batch 28 has group is ready. B-A-T-C-H, let me type it here. B-A-T-C-H slash 28. Yeah, batch 28, 12 December, 8 a.m. Okay, some five, six students are been already registered with us. So they have already, uh, they have already added into this group. And I'm going to create this group only. So I need some more students. At this point, five students are already registered with me. Yes, and they, they, we have already created a group. Means we are going to start learning from 12 December, 8 a.m. with this persons. Okay, so my small intention is like, I will create a community for a small group. You can ask any question at this time. Okay, and this is best 27. If you will see my best 20, this is best 28, best 27, which we have started 5th September, around three to four months back. I've started another batch here. All the details will be available kind of thing. Whatever the students will be here, that all information will be here. Okay, like that. Plus. I'm making a small community. This is a small WhatsApp community and big community will be on the Facebook. Okay. So that after five years also, if you will see that you want to learn something, okay, you have any question, the real time question, you can post into the Facebook community also where at this point, 50,000 are there after five years, maybe it will be one lakh. So you can ask the question in front of one lakh people in the Facebook itself. Okay, that we will do it. And every time this group will be always available. You can post any question into the WhatsApp group. I will be also available. If no one will give the answer, I will be the person. I'm the responsible person who has to give the answer and I will give it. Okay. And we are targeting an individual. We don't want a big, big groups. We are targeting a small, uh, small, small group. Okay, individuals. They want who they want to learn into the AWS or DevOps. Okay, this is about me. I'm already a certified Kubernetes as well as AWS and GCP on an architect level. I have done my Kubernetes certification as well, uh, what we can say, as well as I have done the Red Hat certification as well. Okay. And I'm the senior cloud DevOps architect in one of the big MNC. I'm the corporate trainer. <laughs> Most of the time I will go to the companies as well. Okay. And you may see that I'm providing a training in your company as well. Okay. Most of the time I will get opportunity. Okay. At this time online, but earlier from the last eight years, I'm giving the trainings into the offline, into the companies as well. And I will be your mentor. Sometime I will start my own batches also. And sometime I will be into the corporate training as well. Plus I'm doing a full-time work into one of the big MNC as well. Okay. I, I published multiple articles, multiple blogs that is available here. Okay. And yes, uh, I think you are aware about all these things already. You don't have to worry. And the question will come, who can become a DevOps engineer? Right? This is a very important question. Agree guys, who can become a DevOps engineer? Are yes or no, unmute please. Yes, yes. What about others? Prasad, you never talk with me. Strain. Okay. Right. The question is, who can become a DevOps engineer? Uh, Sachin was telling, okay, he is already into the knock part. Okay, means he is already doing the module seven work. He has to learn some more modules, and he can become a DevOps engineer. Very straightforward answer. Okay, means any support engineer or operation engineer who is already working into the operation part. If you will see about the DevOps keyword, okay, Dev plus Ops means if you are already into the operation support engineer, means you are already a 50% of DevOps engineer. And if you are already a developer, means you are already a 50% into the DevOps. Okay. The thing is, you have to learn everything, this all tools, then only you will become a DevOps engineer. But some part is already there in your life. Uh, anyone, guys, uh, Shika and she, Shika, Shika, can you please introduce yourself? It will be good for me, Shika, Shalendra, so that I can compare this part with your real time. Uh, anyone, unmute and please introduce yourself. It will be good for me. Sai. Oh yep. 
Hey, sign, please. What you are doing? How much is your experience? You are a fresher or where you are working? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very, very, very good. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, as you know, my name is Sai Kiran. Correct. Okay. I have three years of experience in system administration, sir. Cool. System yeah. ed- from the last three years, right? Means you are already yes. IT operation related activities or Linux admin related yes. activities you are doing. Yes, sir. I mean, in, in our organization, we are using control as cloud, sir. Okay, you means you are already into the cloud also, correct? Yeah, I am dealing with the plus control panel to okay. host the domain. Okay. We have a policy chain is our domain name. Hmm. Uh, I am controlling it and uh, we are using our Windows I, uh, IAS server for hosting our Yes, this is the, what I am doing here. Cool. Means I can say in short, you are already into the operation part and you are already a 50% of DevOps engineer. Correct? Because you are yeah. already operation engineer. Yes, 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 yes. Right. And if you will learn little bit more DevOps tool in a proper way with cloud, cloud is already in your life. If you will add AWS or Google Cloud, which is the most popular tools, most popular cloud providers available into the market. If you will add you in your life, you will become a cloud DevOps engineer and you will get a very good package as compared to your current package. You can triple your package also if you will be into the cloud or DevOps. So, so but we, we, have, we, have, we have taken vendor from a, a platform as a service cloud. And we are, I'm, I don't know infrastructure of the cloud. Uh, you don't know the infrastructure, right? Yes, how to build, how to take the... Uh, that I will, that the, I will teach, no? That I will teach. Yes, okay, come yes, to yes, tomorrow, yes, see, yes. come to tomorrow class also. Okay, I will teach you that part. Okay, how to create a infrastructure into the AWS. Okay, great, great, great. great. <laughs> cool, cool, good. And Shalindra is also ty- uh, typing something. I am a fresher for this. Shalindra, you are telling you have a nine years of experience in Linux and Windows, right? Means you are already an expert area, expert area of module two. Shalindra, unmute, please. You are into the expert area of this module two. Yes or no? Yes, sir. <clears throat> right. And you know, I feel that you are a little bit basics of uh, DevOps also you are aware. Yes, I am aware of AWS and DevOps basic things. Basic thing means module one and module three, basic basics of things you are already aware, right? So what you yes. have to do, you have to learn the good DevOps tools also, top five or top ten DevOps tools, and you will become a DevOps engineer. Five, five years DevOps plus uh, telling them the details. Five years of DevOps plus yes. five years of Linux or Windows administration experience that you can do it. Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm working as a team lead currently. Cool. And uh, if I am tra- tra- uh, I'm planning to move here, so how it will help me? Uh, is there any age criteria uh, if I am trying to move the here? <laughs> but will... it's not a government job, okay? There is no age criteria, nothing like that, okay? IT, there is no age criteria. If you have knowledge, if you can come into the IT, okay? No, no, no. Some companies may, because everyone is now preparing for this uh, as a pressure and uh, because uh-huh. I will also go ahead as a freshman. So why you are coming as a fresher? You know, you are learning with me, right? So you can add the three years of DevOps experience in your resume right away after doing my course. So eight, seven years or six years of sure work, real work, or three years of DevOps work. And you will become a lead of uh, what we can say, any of the cloud team. Don't okay. say you are a fresher. You are already a matured person. Correct? Yes or no? But for a yes, yes. cloud, you are you can you can be a little bit fresher, but your maturity level of giving the answers will make an experienced cloud engineer. Yes or no? Right, right. Right. So you don't have to worry, but yeah, you are already very late. Okay, nine years. The level will be high. Okay. And don't be late now. Okay. You must have to, if you are planning to come into the cloud or DevOps site, you must have to come at this point. Okay. And one more person, Sai is also having 1.9 year of support experience. Yes, you are already into the support means you are already a 50% DevOps engineer. Okay. You have to learn the cloud as well as the, some more DevOps tools and you can come into the DevOps. Guys, I'm telling this because 
everyone who is working into the IT or non-IT, who can, who want to learn the cloud or new tools, they can come into the DevOps profile easily. That's why I'm giving opportunity to you to unmute and talk with me so that I will know you and I will compare your profile and how you can become a DevOps engineer. You can do it. See, uh, Shika, I haven't given the answer. You are already a support engineer, Oracle apps or dealing with the SQL database. Means if you will see here in my slavers, your database, whatever the things you are doing, uh, let's see. Uh, mm, 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 yeah, okay. Day number 16, okay. Database, introduction to RDS database. SQL or no SQL or Aura or RDS that we are going to discuss. Plus, we are going to develop the RDS relational database service with Postgres or with MySQL. Okay. The database creation plus creation, we will create a EC2 instance, which we will learn into the day 12, 13. And with the help of SQL proxy, with the help of SSH key, with the help of mobile stream, we will connect and we will perform the database operations or SQL operations as a real time into this part. So Shikala, whatever you are doing, you we are already teaching that part into the day 16 as well. So you have to wider your knowledge. At this point, your knowledge is only in the day one or day two classes. Shika, agree with my point? Yes, sir. Okay, Shika, what I want to give it to you, um, see my this video, okay. Uh, can, can I get your email address, please? So that I will yes, uh, ping a chat, put into the chat, please. And sure, I will sure. give you the RDS, okay? Database and RDS. Have a look into this video, okay? And let me know whatever you are doing from the last two years is I have explained everything in this one or two classes or not, okay? Or beyond that level. Or if I'm missing anything, you can let me know. Uh, if required, I will add it to my course as well, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I have provided the access to you. Can you check your email? You are able to access the video or not? You get it. You get any email? Just check it, please. You will get. Yes, two, sir. Receive. You get two emails for sixteen or sixteen or sixteen point one two videos. You get it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, check it by today. Okay, and tomorrow, please let me know, is this helpful for you or not? Okay. Sure. Cool, good. Yes, yeah, that's why guys, I'm telling that uh, my things are very transparent. If you, anyone here want any of my videos or anything required, you can let me know. If it's a PPT, I will open and show it to you right away. If you need a video, let me know. I will, I will show it. I will give the access to you. You can have a look into that part as well. Okay. Freshers can also come into this profile. The reason behind it, if you will join as a fresher after two years or after three years, your package will be very good as compared to the people who is working into the support or IT operation or system engineering or network engineering from the last five years. Within two years, you will get the same package which they are doing for which they are getting after five years or after 10 years. Within five years, you will get a very high package. That's the beauty of DevOps tool. Guys, you are agree with this point? If not, please defense with me. I will give the answer. I'm ready to give the answer. Yes, because I agree. Everyone? Prasad, Sachin, Vineet, Yogeshwar. Guys, we are very less. Take it as an opportunity because sometime in a free workshop, lots of students are there and some students will not get an opportunity to talk. You are getting agreed. Agreed. agreed? Cool. Yep. Uh, anyone here who feel that, sir, I can move into the cloud or DevOps or not. You can put your defensive point in front of me and I will try my best to give the answer. And you, if you are proof that, sir, I cannot become a DevOps engineer, I'm also happy. Let me know, but please. The reason behind is to join any of the course is because without a proper knowledge or without a proper guidance, you will get stuck with a lot of things. Okay. Or I will sh show you one thing. Yeah. Without a proper knowledge or proper guidance, if you will start learning AWS or cloud, there are this many tools are available in AWS, in the, what we can say, DevOps. 
you will get confused or you will not learn the real thing which you have to learn it like someone was telling uh, monitoring tool right operation delay continuous monitoring where is the monitoring operation mm -mm -mm. zabbix is their dynatrace yeah such a newer dynatrace tool is also here right but you have to make how much you have to learn it how much you have to do it that you are not aware if you will not go with any proper course you will be very confused what you have to learn it right and you will not achieve the things in the next six months one year also right right so the reason behind it if you will go with the proper guidance proper syllabus you will learn what you have to learn it if you will see this devops tools are look like this okay what i provided the access to one girl okay uh what we can say shika with very minimum effort because i'm using a technology i'm using a drive okay i'm using a drive they sended a mail i just added his email address and she get a mail right so this type of automation always helpful to achieve something if i will do it otherwise i have to download it i have to upload on a gmail and i have to ask the email address and she will find, get it like that right but here automatically some automations are required right so that's a part of devops tool that will be always required okay Sharinda, your question duration. Yes, duration is around 50 days or two and a half months I need from you guys. Okay, 51 classes I will take it plus workshop plus mock interviews. I will take everything in two and a half months. Okay, this is the duration. And fee structure, um, the fees is 22K, okay, which we are charging to provide all these things, whatever I'm telling to you to for everyone. Okay. At this point, my strength of the batch is less. So I can give some discount also to you guys to join, uh, to enroll you. Okay. As soon as I will get a um, number of 10 number of members, I will not give any discount. The first 10 members, I can give some discount and I can enroll you into the batch. It makes sense. Uh, weekdays or weekend. Uh, weekdays is 8 a.m. IST, Monday to Friday. Okay. Weekend batch. At this point, I am not publishing the date or time. Date, date. I will make a weekend batch. Uh, uh, I can't say at this point. Okay, but um, but weekend batch we will start very soon. But I will not encourage. If you want to come, enroll in this batch or whenever I will start on first of January or whatever it is. Uh, I will what we can say. I will enroll you into the weekend batch also free of cost. Means you can attend both the batches. I don't have any gun. Okay. Uh, weekdays time is 8 a.m. IST. Come to my website. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. If you are not getting a pop-up, open into the incognito window. Okay. You will get a pop-up. Build your career, AWS and DevOps with this number on batch 28 uh, on 12 December 2022 and register. Okay. You have to just click on register and you will get it. The timings are 8 a.m. IST. And 8 a.m. to 9.30, it will be there. Okay, one and a half hour every day. Yes, Friday, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. IST batch started. Shikla, you got the answer? Uh, how much percentage? Uh, <laughs> I can't say at this point. It's completely depends. Okay, but I can say, yeah, uh, around 10%, I will definitely give it to you. Okay, immediately. Okay. Or if you will do it by today itself, I can increase the percentage of discount as well. Okay. Because I because we are going to start a batch and I need a number. That's it. It makes sense. Agree? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay, cool. So what I want, if you will do the things by own, it will take six months, six years also, because I know some students who are learning from last couple of years, but they will not achieve it. The reason behind it, if you will go with YouTube, how you will clear your doubts. If you'll go to Udemy, how you will clear your doubts. And without clearing your doubts, you cannot, your, if your query is not get solved, how you will say that my answer, I get my all answers. Here, I can solve your all queries. Okay, I, if you face any of the problem, we will conduct a workshop. In the workshop, see, if you will see here, in every one or two weeks, there is a workshop, okay, uh, kind of year. See, workshop for Linux. Whatever the problem related Linux you faced in your machine, I will allow you to share your screen and you can 
get it resolved with the help of me or with our group itself okay so this is the workshop you can see here here also there is a workshop uh, workshop for aws if you face any of the problem in your account itself that we will help you out i will fix that problem also in your account itself it makes sense so if you will only learn with youtube okay youtube so you can see my videos are also there right but the reason behind it who will clear your doubts that's more important correct you have to solve your queries then only that part will be completed for you and that we are doing into the real live classes only okay and what you have to learn as a devops engineer you have to be a little bit familiar into the uh guys any question at this point or all good can we go more ahead yes no any question all good that is yeah, cool. yes all good all good okay cool in the development part we or i am going to teach the basics of python also okay not on a coding level not required we we don't want to a developer we want to devops engineer but this keyword will give you two three leg extra so that part i am going to teach you code management will happen with the help of git we will perform all the activity on the aws cloud into the linux environment okay and if it's a java based project then we will use a maven to if it's a java based project we will build the project with the help of maven okay this maven is also automatically we will run with the help of jenkins and with the help of jenkins only we will perform the ci cd continuous integration and continuous deployment as soon as we will complete the ci cd we have a one project that is a project one for this all activities I mean java spring boot application with the help of maven we will build it and we will deploy into the aws cloud or any remote machine okay one part okay. secondly as soon as you will develop something into the docker with the help of docker and kubernetes environment we will create a containers and we will monitor that environment with the help of prometheus and grafana in a second project third project lots of aws services on aws lots of aws around 40 aws services we are going to develop for three tier application with the help of terraform and ansible means i am covering this all tools with theoretical with practical knowledge and with the very enough real time experience or real time projects with all these tools which i am going to teach to you guys okay complete syllabus is already available you don't have to worry and you don't have to ask sir which practical what practical on what day everything is already predefined decided and it is available into the syllabus link you can have a look anytime okay all good yes shailendra shikha shikant sai sachin prasad parth good sir okay yes yes sir cool uh, yes guys before we start aws can we take a small break for 10 minutes or 15 minutes if you want to go to washroom if you want to drink a water or whatever you want yes you okay uh, how many minutes let me know please 10 or 15 10 10 or 15 i need a vote first 10 10 okay i need one or two more confirmation 10 or 15 10 10, 10. okay chalo. Cool. yep 10 is a majority let's take a 10 minute break and guys please please be back in 10 minutes okay here is a timer please be back first
Hello everyone and good morning. <coughs> Hi Vikas. Yep. A uh, lot of students joined now after I went the mess. What's the message to everyone? <laughs> because I run by. Huh? Vikas, I want to ask one thing. So, uh, since I'm having uh, around nine years of experience, so now I want I'm going to learn this cloud plus uh, DevOps, which is AWS and one. Okay. So, uh, which uh, I mean, uh, should I go for any certification? If yes, then uh, what I have to go? I mean, I have to do both AWS plus DevOps certification, something, or else only one. Ah, uh, see, Raja, uh, if you are getting package. 20 till now i am not don't disclose yourself yeah. okay yeah. if okay. you are Fine. beyond 20 you are into the good at this point okay yeah. you can just learn and you can make it 30 with the course itself okay Fine. okay just compare with your thing okay if you are lesser than 20 and you want to come into the 30 with the with 10 years of experience okay right. because 30 is a standard for 10 year experience and like your communication i already talked with you last week i understood your knowledge is good okay because you have explained about the data center related things yeah. correct so you are into the good knowledgeable person you must have to reach by 30 so if you are still lesser than 20 you must have to do one certification cloud pictionary certificate that will give a icing on your resume or icing on your package means 3 4 lakh you will get for the for the one certification only one certification okay, okay. okay. with knowledge with good answers you can join you can reach to 30 lakh, 30 lakhs package also Okay, so that certification AWS is fine or uh, AWS DevOps? is more than enough because see, DevOps certification is always we can say for the expertise level because I want to be expertise into the Kubernetes, so I did that CKD certification. Okay, yeah, yeah, right, okay. And because see, uh, in the, if you will talk about the DevOps, every tool has their own certification, yes, okay, right. Terraform, yeah. Ansible, Kubernetes. Right. Jenkins, Git, every, but you can't achieve everything. Practically not possible. Okay. Oh, because okay. it will take a time and you have to be that much mature then only. I also have an, I, I was planning that Terraform certification. It's of 2000 rupees only. Okay. Oh, 2000 okay. rupees is very less. Okay. Right. But I was thinking, what is the benefit of giving this thing? Right. <laughs> right. Because yeah. I don't want to only work into the Terraform. Right. 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 Instead of that 35,000 rupees I get for the Kubernetes. The reason behind is if I will get the, I will, if I will get this certification, I will be in a wider way of Kubernetes. Right, right, right. Yes. That's why I can, if I have to add one certification in my resume, I can write this, I can get in 2000 rupees. But why I spent 35,000? Because the name size is also the same, but the wider range of Kubernetes is big. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Everything comes under this thing only. Correct, correct. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, I think you got your answer. Right, right. Got it. Okay. So, if it is in AWS, should I go for technical architect? I mean, uh, oh, no, AWS no, no. Hey, start with cloud pictionary. Okay. okay. Cloud practitioner. Within my duration of the course, done with cloud pictionary. Okay. Okay. I will help you out with the terms or whatever you want. Any PDF. I have. I was already giving to my student because that certification is very good. Uh, if you will, one second, I will show my batch 27. This is batch 27 videos. Uh, <coughs> Ebooks. Uh, I was always giving AWS Pictionary exam certification book. Um, okay, it's not here. Uh, I will add it. Okay, so the reason behind this, uh, no one has asked it. That's why someone has asked AZ 900, Azure 900 certification book. So I have given. See, this book, if you will see this book, this is a trainer's book. Okay, means how uh, AWS uh, Azure is giving for the trainers, authorized trainer's book. Okay, and if I get this type of because I am a partner with AWS, I am a partner with Azure as well. Okay, I'm never give. I'm not giving a training on Azure. I know Azure, but I don't want to give. <laughs> Okay, and I'm the trainer for Azure as well. So I can I was getting some books this type of so I can give that to my students also. Okay, it will be like that. Oh. But so AWS I, practitioner is for just beginners, right? I yes. mean the people who ever want to go, go okay. for beginner but level. See, as Raja, a but for Raja, for you, you are coming into the cloud right now, right? Right. right, right. <laughs> so you are a beginner for cloud, correct? I, I'm a beginner for cloud, but I can't be a fresher in cloud, right? Are, no, you don't have to be. See, what I'm telling, within a two months of my training duration only, give that certification. And after six months, okay, in the April of 2000, April of 23, write the architect, architect level also. 
okay 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 because see you, if you will go step by step that will be good right yeah, yeah, directly yeah. jump into the final step is not good right right right, right. yes yeah. yes means i want to say that if you are not in 30 lakh package or 25 lakh package get the offer of 25 first okay then you will reach to 30 okay don't assume that i will reach directly 45 yeah. lakh package no <laughs> right 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 yes i yes. think you got the answer right yeah i got I it i want to say but you are <laughs> fine fine man. no problem <laughs> okay good sure. good uh, yeah so this all things guys we are going to learn no worries and now the question is we are starting what exactly aws is okay guys i need an answer from you guys only because you are already aware what exactly the aws is go ahead please give me the answers Guys, I need an answer from you. What is AWS? This is not a tough question. Not at all tough question. It's a cloud platform hmm. where we can do services over cloud, which is not with us physically. Uh, yeah, correct. I agree. Uh, we are going to use their services. If I'm talking about the services, which variety of services? Guys, everyone, participate, please. It's a very simple question. Which variety of services? Virtual machine. Yeah, she can go. Go ahead, go. She can go ahead. Okay, not interested. Chala. Let me give the answer. Amazon Web Service is a subsidiary of Amazon provider. Means Amazon is one of the big, one of the organization, and AWS is their component, which is providing on-demand cloud computing resources and services. If I am talking about cloud computing, means virtual machine virtualization and their ready made services and their services we are going to use on their platform this is the link aws.amazon.com you can go into this place i am into this place aws.amazon.com this is the console of this website and in the console there is the option create an account if you don't have the account i will help you out how to create an account but i already have the account i am clicking here login back as soon as i clicked on the login back, login account it will ask prompt for the my account id my username and my password after creating your account this option will be available i have already saved my thing i am just clicking on sign in it will take some couple of seconds and i will be landed into the aws.console.com console means a connectivity which i am doing with the help of internet this is the console this is the home page of my aws and if i am talking about the services here all the services details are available here okay at this point 200 plus services are available in aws which we can use on pay as you go model means if you want to use it take it on a rent pay the rent and use it that is a aws okay and we can use or they are providing the servers means virtual machines or who has a cpu and memory that all servers they are providing it services services means some ready made services platform as a service software as a service they are also providing to us resources if you want to store something into the aws cloud that also is possible resources also provided on the cloud as per demand or you can scale up easily as well means you have a requirement you are taking the resources from the cloud provider aws provider and on demand you can take it as well as let assume you are running something and your requirement has been increased so you can increase easily as well i will give my real time example as well uh, as you guys knows i am using a google drive to providing a videos to you Guys, if you will see here, fifteen GB is the limit for everyone. Agree? Yes. Fifteen GB is the limit for everyone, and after every fifteen fifteen GB, I cannot create a new account. Not possible, right? So what I did, I took the unlimited storage or five TB of storage from the Google Cloud. The reason behind is this videos because if you will see here, every day video. Okay, or chalo, let's see the last week recordings. Okay, last recording. uh workshop recordings okay these are the three recordings which happened in the last week okay and if you will see here the size is around 2.27 gb <laughs> right and if i will fulfill this 2.7 gb over the weekend my this 15 gb limit will finish in one month only or within less than that 
but if i'm telling that i i can provide you this videos for a lifetime i took a 5 tb of a storage and if required i will take more also right so that type of things we can do means we can scale up as per our requirement if someone you guys are also using i'm why i'm not going into aws why i'm taking this example because everyone in your mobile phone you are using a google drive and if it's get full you are getting a pop-up from the uh, from the google cloud itself or google itself that you can increase the resources as well agree <clears throat> yes right so this type of services we are getting and it is provided by the aws also aws has a revolution over the time means aws uh, if i will ask the question with you uh, very first uh, how much uh, what do you think that when the aws came into the picture how many years back raja i don't need answer from you i need answer from other people how many years old how much established. 2006 okay anyone else anyone want to give any other answer yes give the answer go into the google check it and give me the answer when the aws came into the picture okay so i can i can say that aws or amazon amazon web services is a revolution over the time means not at all directly all 200 services not came he started with one service two service three service 10 service 20 service and right now it's a 200 services means from a very long time he's doing the things free to join yes aws account creation is completely free whatever you are going to use they are charging for that but there is for every service there is some option free tire if you will choose that free tire it will be free of cost available for one year to you okay and in our training program most of the things i will take it from the free tire or i will teach you how to take the free tire only okay and all the details related to free information is available here you can click on this link you will get the all the how much is the limit for which resources all the free information is available here and if you will see here free tiles are available account is free for 12 months if you start learning from today itself next year you will within one year you will learn a lot of things right and it will be always free also into the future you if you are keeping the account you don't have to pay anything for compute 750 hours are required uh, 750 hours he is going free of cost to you for s3 5 gb is they are providing rds 750 hours like that for everything there is a limit if you will use into the limit it will be a free of cost okay and i will teach you the tips and tricks how to use into the limit as well okay yeah and users of it small organization also using very large organization also using a small organization means they cannot create a data center in their office so they have to come into the cloud very large companies they can't create a very big data center into their organization okay so they are moving into the cloud and if a small business also moving large business also moving middleware business they don't have much budget they are definitely moving into the cloud providers okay that's why the aws become a very popular nowadays okay uh leave about devops at this point okay ah this question is primarily for some people who are who want to earn the money okay yes after learning aws the very basic certification that is a cloud dictionary certification if you will do this at least three lakh package you can ask more into your resume you have to give the good answers you have to show this certificate of eight thousand rupees and you can ask about three, four lakh package more while getting a new offer. Okay. Learn with us, uh, get the knowledge. Plus, if you will do this certification, it will be good. If you are good in only speaking, you don't have to do the certification also. That is also good. Okay. But learning is always required. Okay. And yes, this is the one of the very basic certification which is required. Okay. And why you have to come into the DevOps role? Why I'm not only teaching AWS, okay? Or only AWS is not helpful. The reason behind is, if you will remember my previous point, um, yeah, okay. We are going to learn DevOps tools. We are going to learn the DevOps tools and their operation on AWS cloud. Only cloud, what you will do it without the tools. It's nothing, okay? AWS is also providing lots of services here okay and everywhere they are charging 
okay but we can take the platform or infrastructure from the aws and we can develop the things by own with the help of our free open source devops tool and why this devops tools are freely available because it has been developed by the community and it will be free in the future as well that's why devops tools plus aws or plus cloud provider will be always helpful only only cloud learning is not at all helpful you must have to learn the devops tools also if you want to, to get a good package okay the reason behind it if i will go back to my this thing okay if you will see how many jobs means after learning sir what will be the next after learning if you will see here after learning if you will see here how many jobs are available into the nokri i am claiming that around 30000 jobs are available in the nokri.com website only okay i am going to the nokri.com i just search aws aws and devops okay my search criteria is only devops and aws and i am getting around 40000 jobs are available into the market guys how many jobs you need it can you give me the answer bala sachin raja sai how many job you guys are required one job one job i need only one job sir one job right but at this point 40000 jobs are available at this point okay so what i want to suggest you learn it opportunities are not okay everything is latest one day ago three days ago three days ago seven days ago all are latest jobs only not very old okay and don't always think that for experience only the jobs are there no for freshers they if you are going into one of the big mncs they are hiring as a fresher and see don't trust me okay see a zero to two years luckily i get it right away okay for freshers also aws devops fresher work from home what do you want as a fresher as a work from home zero to two year experience with devops you did only this right yes or no <clears throat> yes okay i will give this information to my other student member guys i am putting it here very latest for hyderabad okay company can be small not a big deal but at this apply it okay as a fresher if you are sometime you feel that as a fresher we are not getting a devops job no that's not correct as a fresher also we are getting a devops job which is permanent work from home if you will get a five lakh package also at work from home it will be very good as a fresher yes or no shalen venkatesh and if you will see this all things i am going to teach aws is vpc ec2 elb ebs everything is available in my syllabus okay vpc yes i will show it to you guys okay uh, 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 here ec2 okay ec2 ec2 elb okay where is my nokri.com ec2 elb root 53 dns everything i am teaching vpc i have a separate class for vpc where is the vpc okay uh, 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 uh. vpc yes see vpc networking classes also there okay all the vpc related things are there plus alerts and monitoring system just definitely i do have that part as well let me make it nearby only okay alert and okay, cloud watch this is alerting and alerting related things which i am going to teach okay if you will see aws cicd integration yes cicd we have a complete project okay cicd complete project we have no need to worry okay what they are want hands on experience on aws docker container yes we have a docker docker and kubernetes also where is that here is the docker installation i think whoever attended the last workshop they are little bit aware about docker also raja can you confirm that part yes or no yeah, yeah. right <clears throat> docker related things is already there we don't have to worry okay what else they are asking experience is working monitoring and logging tools nigos and datadog yes i am providing the monitoring tool grafana and prometheus and splunk yes that is also good linux administration and windows administration yes that is my project one only see linux administration related activities four days we will learn here my first practical ec2 instance on windows server windows instance and it is a web development into the linux instance yes that is a practical one and practical two they are asking only practical and practical two mandatory scripting bash and ansible scripting yes bash and ansible yes that is also there uh uh uh, uh, uh. where is bash where is bash, bash. See here, bash related things is here. Ansible, yes, Ansible is also here. 
प्रोमोथियस वेर इज एंसिबल प्रोमोथियस या एंसिबल रिलेटेड यस एंसिबल हाउ एंसिबल वर्क लैंग्वेज को टेराफॉर्म इन इट प्लान रिलेटेड थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो हियर hands on experience application deployment and devops tool yes definitely github is also there communication skill and strong skills are mandatory that's it guys everything and don't say that i created my syllabus based on this my syllabus is 3 years back okay i created it see it's not my new syllabus if you will see here when i created this syllabus very long back okay and i'm upgrading as per the requirement i'm upgrading always okay It's not two days back, okay? See, ten December to four uh, December, I showed this labels last time also, and it is very old labels. If you will see the history of this labels, it's a very old. See, twenty one, one December twenty one, I put it here with the same details, okay? And every time I am updating little bit, definitely updation is required as per the requirement, and everything I am going to teach here means from a day one you can apply as a fresher into this job, okay? Cool, and yes. Not only this job. Pick any of the job, guys. Anyone want to say any of the job? Let me know, please. I will open in front of you. Guys, anyone? Please pick it. Please open it. Open any experienced one. Yep. Which one? Highest experience, ten years. Yeah. Let me open. Five to ten years. I don't know. I will open eight to twelve. Is that fine? Uh huh. Okay, chalo. And salary is not discussed. Let me open. Yeah, this much in the package is a one stand hundred thousand ten thousand leg ten leg one stand hundred thousand leg ten leg. This is okay. No, this is less only, man. Um, let's open. Uh, ten to eight to twelve. Okay, eight to twelve. I think you will be into this list. Okay, see here, ELB. Okay, load balancer. Where is my syllabus? इंफॉर्मेशन इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल इन टू दिस प्लेस ओके Creation on use of Terraform, my third project. More than enough for this point. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Chef is outdated. Ansible or Ansible? Yes, Ansible is already in my syllabus. No need to worry. CI/CD. Yes, it's already there. Git. Yes, obviously, all Git is there. Rotating twenty-four by seven support. Yeah, that is also. If sometimes some companies may ask, yes, Python yes. is required. Bash. Yes, that is also available. DB yes database experience with database yes if you will see this class you will be say yes database yes day sixteen yes this is my database part I am using Postgres RDS AWS NoSQL yes all these things okay ah uh, five or more hands on experience yes this is so definitely you will Kubernetes yes I am teaching that Kubernetes also okay and CI CD and some theory theory infrastructure theory yes everything we are covering. Means you can apply for ten years job also with this yeah. course. Guys, everyone agree? Yeah. Sachin, Sai, Shailendra. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, we can apply for ten years experience job also. Yes. I defined this course from a couple of years. Okay, I spent my five years on designing all these things. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, chal. This many jobs are available into the nokri. So you need only one. Forty thousand jobs are available. Let me change my this keyword because this will change on a time duration. So I am using forty. Yes, forty thousand jobs are available. Correct. Cool. And after learning this course, you can apply into this many profiles. I am talking only for AWS and DevOps. You can DevOps engineer, cloud engineer, SRE. Cloud system engineer, GCP. We are going to teach the Google Cloud also. In last workshop, I primarily use the Google Cloud. Okay, AWS DevOps, Azure, GCP, CI/CD, Azure, CI/CD engineer, DevOps lead, freelancer, software developer. If you will search a jobs with this also, you will get twenty more or thirty more thousand jobs with this names also. Okay, so around one lakhs openings are available into the market, which are available in Nokri. I am not talking about anyone anywhere else. Nokri. dot com have enough jobs. Okay, 
and devops engineer salary you don't have to worry and devops engineer salary in every company is highest if you will see the us don't trust me okay come to the stack overflow uh, anyone here who know what is stack overflow i feel yes everyone knows ajay yeah. give that answer what is stack overflow venkatesh shika yes no no one knows parth can you give me the answer what is stack overflow So here we have all the answers related to all software, yeah, IT questions. Code. All IT questions. It's a community type of thing. It's a community, correct? Yes, it's a community for all the IT technical questions. Yes, and they are publishing the salary of all the professions in another another company. DevOps has the highest salary in US. DevOps has the highest salary in UK. Germany has a DevOps has the highest salary in Germany. DevOps has the highest salary in India. Beyond data engineer, data scientist, desktop engineer, embedded, full stack developer, system admin, and everyone. QA is here only. Okay, very high salary as compared to every country. The DevOps is on the highest. Okay, and who can learn a DevOps engineer? Anyone who are interested to learn, yes, they can learn a cloud and DevOps tools. Very easy to get a job because fresher can also take a entry. faster career growth yes career growth will be very fast definitely the career growth will be very fast because you are learning a booming technology short development cycle yes things are happen with the help of automation automatically so you don't have to worry cycle will be fast development will be fast software will be very less failure because everything is achieved with the help of tools we don't have to do the manual work we have to do the configuration with the tool you can see here i message my in my what we can say classes all the things are ready made okay means i have to i am using the technology so you are getting a whatsapp messages automatically you are getting a reply automatically and most of the things are automated kind of thing right so yes in the devops also lots of things are automated highest salary across the it job yes highest salary whatever the it jobs you know you are getting a beyond that only increase your value Yes, if you are into the L one, L two, NOC or service monitoring tool teams, you will not get a respect. Okay, your value will be very less. Okay, but if you are into the DevOps team, you will get a respect. You will get a good respect, and your work level will be very good. Okay, become a respected into the IT. Yes, if you will say that you are into the cloud, you are working into the cloud, you will be into the very good shape. knowledgeable across the full software development cycle if you will become a devops engineer you have the knowledge of all the fields or all the different different parts of the software development life cycle okay how come why if you will see here what exactly the devops is devops person work into all the field why and who are the devops engineer i am talking about devops 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 what is devops when developer testers and it operation teams work together to develop a software development team qa team and it operation teams work together to develop a software software can be anything vlc players they are going to develop some software to keep the process of software development and everything into the sync because let us assume development team is sitting on the third floor qa team is sitting on a fourth floor operation team is sitting on a fifth floor they are not in sync with each other they are not talking with each other and who is the person the devops is the team who will make them into the sync devops has a basic knowledge of development devops has a basic knowledge of qa devops has a basic knowledge of operation or we can say operation engineer become a devops engineer QA engineer become a DevOps engineer, so he has a base. He has a good knowledge of QA. He has a basics of operation. He has a basics of de development uh, environment, and he become a DevOps engineer. Okay, he is a middle guy who has a basic knowledge of everything, and it will become a DevOps engineer. Agree with me at this point, Sachin, Sai. Yes, sir. I agree. Cool. Yeah. and if you will see here earlier what will happen developers are there who is writing the code developers are there who is writing the code they are giving the code to the operation people or they are giving the package or exe file to the operation people and they tell let deploy they will deploy and it get breaked and developer is telling i will not work into the operation environment why should i come on the saturday sunday 
why should I work into the operation activity? It's your role. The operation people tell that this is your code and they will fight with each other. Okay. And it's never ending kind of thing. This wall of confusion has been removed by the DevOps engineer because he has a knowledge of development. He has a knowledge of operation. You don't have to fight. We will deploy the things automatically with the help of tool. The tool name is Jenkins. We will do the setup configuration of Jenkins and Jenkins will do this work over the weekend, over the anytime, whenever you want. So this wall of confusion, deployment related activities are automated with the help of DevOps tool. Okay. Now the question will come, what is DevOps? DevOps is a solution for all the dev development as well as operation issues and failure. If any of the solution, if any of the development or operation related issues, problems are there, DevOps is the people or DevOps is the team who will bring or who will give the solution for them. DevOps will help a team for the communication, collaboration and integration. I need a person or for the DevOps team, I need a person who is a talkative. He has to give the answers. That's really important. Okay. That type of person come into the DevOps tool. It will be very good. And I'm the most talkative person. <laughs> Agree? All good till now? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. And with the help of DevOps, the development, what we can say, this cycle, this cycle for different, different teams will be very small and it will be faster because everything will happen with the help of automation tool. That's the beauty of DevOps. Okay. All the things in a different, different teams can be happen with the help of tool. That's why we are learning the top 10 DevOps tool for one tool from one phase and it will perform the activity. Yes, that's the DevOps work. DevOps has a streamlined. DevOps has a streamlined solution means it has a ready-made solution available for development and IT related operation activities. We have a ready-made tool. We have to use that tool and we have to use into the IT and operation team. That is a DevOps people work. Guys, I hope you, you got the answer. What is DevOps? Sai, Sachin. Yes, okay. yes, got it. Shika, what is DevOps? If someone will ask the question, you are able to give the answer. What is DevOps? Yes, sir. Okay. Guys, related to the DevOps, any question? What is DevOps or what is AWS? Very high level. After this workshop, at least you can say that I know what is DevOps, what is DevOps, what DevOps do, what AWS or what AWS services are there. Is this two questions are clear for you? Ajay, Sachin, Sai, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, Sai. Uh, want to install the DevOps tools in AWS Cloud? Yeah. Yes. We will do that. Okay, sir. Yep. See, uh, some tools, very basic things we will install in our local machine to connect to the AWS cloud also. Okay. We can connect with the help of browser as well, like this. Okay. With the help of browser also, we can connect. With the help of browser also, we can connect to any of the data center of AWS. Yes, that is also possible. But if you want to do with the help of command line, we have to install the AWS CLI tool like this AWS command run. With the help of this, we can connect to the AWS cloud as well. Through SSH, right? Uh, through Not through SSH because this is a console. SSH for the machines, for the servers. But this is a console. So console will run with the help of direct command. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. For server, SSH is required. For console, direct command will work. Uh, let's see. Uh, CMD. I'm just opening my command prompt in my machine. Okay. You can also open. And if I'm running the command AWS, only AWS, I'm typing it. And at least I'm getting some response. Okay. At least I'm getting some response. If you will open in your machine AWS, it will say AWS is not installed. Guys, do it in your machine. And let me know what your error you're getting. Am I not found AWS? AWS not found, right? It's correct. Because AWS is not installed in your installed. machine. But 
if you will say AWS is not installed, means AWS is a cloud. How can you install in your machine? AWS CLI, command line interface, is not installed in your machine. Right. Like that, we will do all the things. Okay. And this so, is like the uh, Cube CT. Correct. Cube CTL and for Kubernetes. Like correct. For Cube okay. CTL like Kubernetes. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. Absolutely correct answer. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, guys, go ahead and ask your questions, please. All okay. What is AWS? What is DevOps on a very high level for today? Sir, one more question, sir. Go ahead. Uh, what is the uh, combination for DevOps plus uh, Docker, sir? Uh, uh, container. DevOps plus Docker is not a in the DevOps tool, Docker is coming. Okay. And okay, with the okay. help of it's Docker, a of DevOps. it's a DevOps hmm. tool, hundred percent DevOps tool. Okay. Okay. With the help of Docker, we can create a container. Okay. I will show you my Docker sheet. Where is my Docker sheet? I will show you. Okay. Let us assume you want to learn the Docker. Okay. And you are into the Docker class. I'm opening my Docker sheet. And to give the idea or to explain you the Docker in a deeper way, first I will explain you the virtual machine. Okay. How I will start my syllabus. I will explain you the virtual machine. Okay. What is virtualization? What is virtual machine? What is the problem? How we can create a virtual machine on the GCP, Azure, AWS with the hypervisor and all these things. Okay. Uh, I think Raja, last time you told it, uh, someone in the last batch, he asked that virtual machine with the help of Oracle virtual box, how we can create it. Right, right. Right. So this is the virtual machine class, which I was taking it with the hypervisor Oracle virtual box. It's an outdated approach. I will explain you the local virtual machine approach. I will teach you the cloud virtual machine approach as well. And you can go into this link, download this, go into the OS boxes. And this is the ID password for the virtual machine. Okay, Like that. Secondly, before going into the Docker, okay, I will explain you the virtualization problem, shipping, shipping challenges, which is possible or not possible. Then I will come into the container. I will explain you about the container. I will explain you the container what exactly the container is what is the problem why the container came into the picture all so i'm keeping this type of communication because you will remember these discussions what developer was telling what operation will people are telling okay i'm creating my pupits like that and then what is the problems okay who who will be happy who will be the sad and then the docker will come into the picture okay because i will not directly start what is docker no First, I will give a brief about the previous thing, problems, and why the Docker came. Then we will start the Docker, where Docker can be run, Docker, what all Docker definitions are required, what is Docker, varieties of Docker definition, how to install a Docker into the local machine, into the cloud, approach one, Docker installation, approach two, approach three, for all the varieties of approaches I will give you, Windows, Linux, shell scripting, and how to use into the playground as well. Uh, who has asked the question? Sai, right? You are getting the answer? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's clear. Like that. And with the help of Docker, we will create a containers. <laughs> and what next? After Docker, learning the Docker, okay? A lot of learning will be there with the Docker. A lot of practicals, a lot of practicals. And then we will take this container and we will deploy into AWS Cloud, Azure, Google Cloud, or Kubernetes. Anywhere we can deploy this container to anywhere else. <laughs> Got it? Are you yes or no? At least I told I told that was thing. At least say yes, at least. Yes, 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 understood. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And guys, if you have any queries, you can send send me a mail. You can ping me on my WhatsApp number. This is my WhatsApp number, triple nine three double four five one double zero. You can ping me. I will only respond to you. Okay. Or you can send a mail. You can come to my website also, Cloud DevOps Hub. And you can you can you will get most of the details here. If you are looking for the syllabus, you are looking for my channel, or you need my number or whatever you want, you just have to remember my website name. Okay, Cloud DevOps Hub. It's a very simple cloud and DevOps people community. So it's a cloud DevOps app. Okay. And all the details are available here. After that, 
we have lots of success stories in my previous batches yes lots of students get placed if you will just see the single keyword selected and i will put my in the whatsapp only and you will see selected you will see here uh, greeting from google cloud developers some people okay uh, toshi uh, no selected yeah see if you will see here i got selected into two companies okay let's see here okay Shibi in the best. Hi guys, I got selected in two companies. One as a DevOps engineer, now as a cloud operation engineer. And yes, congratulations, 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 congratulations. Lot of things and your success story. This is one person, Raj Kamal. I I got selected. Shibi. Uh, 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 yeah, see DevOps. Okay, Monu. Okay, best twenty five. Sir, I got selected in Bharti Airtel as a DevOps engineer. Thank you for your much support and appreciation and guidance. Congratulations, 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 lot of things. In every batch, lots of placement happen, guys. See, batch 25. Uh, hi, Vikas, sir. Ankit, this side. I selected in Paytm as a fresher uh, for the DevOps profile. I am happy with executed to join Paytm soon. In other, in another, only in just this two months. Okay. They joined it and they get the placement. And lot of things. No, these are some examples, right? Lot of, lot of people are, see. Best 23, I got selected for Infosys as a senior associate consultant for DevOps. Every batch placement happens, okay? And some more placement, congratulations, Sashank, Happy, Place, Rashmi, lot of people. You want to see how many people get how many offers? Giriraj, okay? Lot of people got lots of offers, okay? Uh, yesterday only I talked with this person. Um, also in this, uh, 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 let me show you how many offers this person got it. Mm -hmm. Sir, after coffers, it's eighth offer. Another organization I correct, but there was a small, so I didn't accept the offer. And finally, I am joining the Tata Steel. Man, eight offers he got it. And not only this person, if you will come to my community, what we can say, my group. Uh, where is that? Yep, here you can come into the success story. And lot of students, if you will see any of the video, okay. Uh, I haven't mentioned the theory. Okay, I think I mentioned into my website only. Okay. Reviews. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, some mechanical fresher got selected. Non-IT people, IT people. Some feedbooks, feedbacks from the Facebook is will come sure. Okay. And if you will see, uh, this this is the story. And 100% hike, 120% hike, he got it. Uh, like that, lots of details, lots of placements are there. Okay. And I think in this video only, you will see uh, uh which video 25 or i forgot it guys okay but if you will see any of the video is there are some students who get 100 200 300 yeah you check this subhanshu person okay i think he got five see yeah i am mentioning okay subhanshu after course completed knowledgeable five plus offers with 120 percent high five plus offers man agree not only me, man. See, like us, we are doing the we are taking the classes. I'm taking their classes, and yes, you can see this video. Okay, he, they get around what we can say, uh, eight, eight, ten, ten offers. Okay, I will give this link here only. Yeah. Okay, five offers with one twenty percent height, and for every student, you can see, Monu, eight. My God, eight offers hikes. Okay, he get eight offers. Eight offers with one fifty percent hike, kind of thing. Not only man, man, lot of lot of students. Okay, so one should five plus offers, like that. Lots of students got lots of offers. Okay, so you don't have to worry. And like that, we are doing that uh, classes. And same, I'm just recording that, and I'm putting that recording. That's it. Uh -huh. And someone has given the answer when the AWS came into the picture. Uh, 2006, yes, 2006, EC2 came into the picture, but AWS came around 2002, which is around 20 years back. And what we are going to learn that has been in someone's mind, the AWS platform or AWS console related thing has been launched in 2002, okay? Means we are 20 years late, what we are going to learn, okay? So don't be very late. Agree, okay? Ajay, yes, yes. Sai, yes, sir. Right? yes sir. don't be late from now, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> it will be 25 years old, okay? So don't be very late, okay? 
and the thing is uh, aws if i'm talking about this console yes this type of console at this point is very mature lots of services are there but around 20 years back also the console was there for aws okay and whatever the service name you know if anyone knows any of the service name like ec2 you can put it here and this detail will be visible here okay like that it will be visible into this place okay it's a very simple if you know how to search it you can go into all the services and search one by one that is also fine okay if you know the name you can go into this home page and you can type it and you will you can search it directly okay both the options are available at this point i have connected to the california cloud at this point i have connected to the california data center of aws if you want me to connect to any of the another data center guys can you please choose any of another any other data center from this name sydney tokyo seoul mumbai frankfurt germany ireland london guys can you choose any of the another data center please mumbai mumbai okay where is mumbai yeah here is mumbai at this point you can see us west one name is coming okay at this point us west one is coming let me write it into my notepad otherwise we will forget it yeah i am writing us west one we have connected to the us west one okay that is n california let's connect to the mumbai i am clicking on the mumbai and you will see ap south one has been connected okay at this point i have connected to the ap south one and yes that is mumbai means movement from one data center to another center is just a one click away you can go to any other data center guys choose any other data center please first ajay virginia virginia where is that yeah us east virginia i'm just clicking on that and you can see at this point us east one i connected to the us east one okay and yes it's very simple we can just a single click we can convert we can connect to any other data center as well earlier i was us west one now i am in us east one okay like that and all the services are most of the services are similar into all the data centers okay secondly uh yeah and like that uh, what i can say that aws has been the platform which has been launched in 2002 some new concept came in 2003 the very first service aws sqs uh, what is the full form of sqs guys go and check into the internet and let me know what is sqs guys what is sqs simple queue service correct simple queue service which I'm also going to teach into my classroom. And this is the very first service means things went into the queue has been started into 2004. I will give a real time example. We all are working in one of the MNC, one of the company, 10 colleagues are there. Everyone company will process the salary. Okay. And everyone is getting a salary on different, different duration. There is a small, small duration for everyone. Guys, are you agree with my point? Not everyone is getting a salary on the same time from the same company. Same day will be same, but not a same time. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Right. What is the difference? Company has been processed the salary for everyone in just a one click. But how come I am getting a salary after one hour? Harsha has get the salary within a fifteen minute. Raja has get after two hours because different different banks different different queue systems okay so this type of queue system is available here if you want to process bulk thing you will get a you will get a response in after some complete and the queued kind of thing like that okay and there is a uh, it, this service has been developed in 2004 and in 2006 ec2 instance most popular virtual machine concept came in 2006 2009 private cloud concept came your own house you can put the resources in your own private network that is 2009 vpc has been came in 2012 very first customer event happened earlier this all things are available for the client but customer open market things came in 2012 and in 2016 aws has reached 10 billion revenue and that time it become popular and everyone was started learning aws 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 and in 2017 from 2004 to 2017 this is the first service and the next 13 years 
100 plus services came into the market okay and at this point 200 plus services are available into the aws account so yes it's a revolution that's my my keyword revolution over the time means at the time it, it is getting increased yes and don't say that i will learn all the 200 services if you will learn 200 services in next one year in the next one year 50 more services will come okay so practically you don't have to learn all the 200 services only top 10 services you have to learn that is more than enough for your career or for the next 10 or 10 year of your life okay and guys okay with the history any question yes uh, Ajay, Harsha, please unmute and talk with me. You are not watching any YouTube recordings or Udemy classes. Guys, talk and unmute yeah. with me, Ajay. Harsha, all yeah, of sir. you? Good for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Others, Shubham, Venkatesh, Shika? Very understandable, sir. Okay, cool, good. Yeah. And then, why can anyone give me the answer? Why AWS has developed this 100 services or 200 services? What is the requirement? Why? <laughs> guys, general question. I don't need a technical answer. Can you guys give me a general answer? Why AWS has created this 200 services? What is the use? Guys, give me the answer, please, first. Multiple services for multiple requirements. Not everyone will go with the same services. Now, some people want to uh, go with a different kind of services. Sir. I agree. So this may be a reason. Okay, I agree with your one point. Okay, everyone has a different requirement. Different things are required. So right. they are they are using the different services. Right. But how come how come he is getting an idea that he is creating a two hundred services? That's my question. Actual real question. <laughs> I need a convincing answer, guys. If you will give in an interview, very convincing answer, he will not ask much questions. Right. Why 100 services are required? Why 200 services? What AWS is do doing? From where he is getting an idea? Raja, I know you can give the answer. Think it. Ajay, think it and give me the answer. Parth. Shubham. No, chalo, I will give the answer. Earlier also, traditionally, lot of things are there, which is in a hardware form. Now, all these things are moving into the software form that AWS is doing. Earlier, if you are talking about the databases, DSS, NS, RDMS, Oracle databases, earlier, these all things are there. Now, this new, this, this only same thing in their data center with a new name, with a software, that all things are available. RDMS has been changed into the RDS. Relational Database Management Service, Relational Database Service. Same. Name itself is same. Okay. But it has been from the Amazon. So Amazon tag is here. Okay. NAS, SAS and DAS storage devices are there. EBS, EFS, S3 are the storage devices available in AWS. Same thing. Earlier on-premises, CPU memory hardware was there. Same thing has been converted into the EC2 machine. Same concept. Routers, pipeline switches. If you will see my back, router, pipe, router, wire switches are there. In AWS, that has been converted into the networking softwares. Same thing. Routers, network pipes and all these things has been converted into the softwares. If you need that router, you can go and click and you can take the router routes from AWS. So earlier, all the traditional things, all the hardwares are getting converted into softwares. That's why, see, if you will see a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 things has been migrated from here to here. And that's a revolution over the time. Whatever the hardware related things are there, converting into the software, that's AWS. All the cloud providers are doing. You got the answer now? How come 200 services? How come th how come in future 300 services will happen? Yes, sir. Whatever you feel, it's a software, hardware, it will become a software in some couple of years. The same services which we are having in a physical infrastructure, now they are moving everything to cloud. 100% agree answer. Okay. If you will give this type of answer in the interview, he will understand, man, your roots are very strong. 
Yes. Right. This is right. the point. This type of points you have. Everyone will give. If I will ask, what is AWS? Everyone will give Amazon Web Services. Man, if you will give this answer, you will get two twenty rupees. Okay. <laughs> if you needed two lakh rupees, you have to give a good answer. Okay. Yes. Because see, when I am taking the interview, I will ask very basic question. Okay. You know AWS. Okay. Uh, when the AWS came into the picture, twenty years back. Okay. Cool. Uh, why 100 plus services or how many services are available? My interview questions will be very simple. Okay. My very funny interview. Okay. I will ask how many services are available in AWS. Okay. So he will say, sir, 200. Okay. Why 200 services? Why AWS has developed that 200? That time, though, he don't have the answer. <laughs> and no one will teach this answer, right? Like that. You have to think, guys. If you will think it, you will get the answers. Okay. So simple. And in the real time, what I am going to teach, yeah, these are the examples. But in the real thing, what I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach around this all services for the different, different categories. Global infrastructure. Everyone knows global means worldwide AWS as an infrastructure. How can you prove it? I can prove that it, AWS is a global infrastructure. If I will go to AWS console, here is my AWS console. And if you will click on this link, okay, if you will click on this, these are the global locations. So global data centers are available. Okay, I can in a single click, I can move from one data center to another. That's that is a global infrastructure provided by AWS. Yep, that is a global infrastructure provided by AWS. Guys, okay with this point? Yes. Everyone. Networking. Okay. When I'm talking about networking, yes. Routes, networking, switches, ELB, VPC, that type of services are available into the networking in AWS. Okay. Compute. Uh, what is the meaning of compute? What is the meaning of compute? I need an answer. No, 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 rather, no, 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 from, not from you. Others, others. What is compute? Shika, I know everyone knows. Occupied. Occupied, okay. What else? Anyone else? Everyone knows EC2. Before coming to me, you know the keyword EC2. Yes or no? Yes. EC2. Yes, what is the full form is EC2? Elastic container. E -L -A -L -A -E. Elastic compute. Elastic uh, compute. Mm -hmm. What is the third keyword? Compute. Uh, cloud. Cloud. Elastic cloud compute or compute cloud? Tell whatever, tell whatever it is. Okay. Can you explain me what do you mean by elastic? Flexible. Flexible. F-L-I-X-A-B-L-E. You can increase or decrease as per your requirement. F-L-I-X-A-B-L-E. Flexible. Okay. You can increase or decrease as per your requirement. On the cloud. What is compute then? Compute is also a keyword. What do you mean by compute? What is flexible in this compute? Then what is compute? The resources. Resources. Resources where we can increase or decrease. Correct. Resources means CPU and memory. Okay. Means wherever the I'm talking about the compute keyword means this all services EC2, EMR, VPC, Direct S3. This all required a CPU and memory. Uh, don't ask with me what is CPU and memory, okay? CPU and memory that is available in our hardware as well, in our laptop as well. This is a memory. I'm using 8 GB of my memory. That is a RAM. What is CPU? This is a CPU. I'm using around uh, i7 processor of CPU uh, that is which has a 4.2 gigahertz speed, okay? So this is a CPU and I have a 12 core, 6 core CPU in my machine, okay? So this type of CPU's memory we can take from the cloud provider for our machine that is known as compute guys okay with the keyword compute yes what is storage so hard disk the hard disk, hard disk uh, ssd hdd correct wherever we store the data wherever we can store a data that is storage in our in my local machine yes i do have a storage one storage and another storage why two stories? SSD, HDD, C, E, D, E, F. If you are not able to understand, let me make the simple thing. 
where is my C drive? Yeah, here is my machine. Okay, I have multiple storage. Why multiple storage? Yes, give me the answer. Why multiple storage? Guys, why multiple storage? Why multiple varieties of storage? I mean, both are will be both will be having a different kind of uh, usage. Uh, where hard disk we can store the data. See, mm -hmm. uh, uh, SSD it is kind of like a flash memory kind of thing. No, so if we have the SSDs, no, 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 it's object storage. Flash yeah, memory. Yeah. If after restart, it will be gone. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a flash memory. I'm saying it's okay. not a complete flash memory. Where okay. uh, if we have the OS only OS in C. It won't load any other resources. Only it will load the OS operating. System. No man, I am I am using my full system with the C drive only. Yeah, we can use. I am saying. Don't use the flash keyword. Okay, flash yeah, yeah. after restart, it will be gone. <coughs> that is a but memory. We, that is a RAM. The, yeah, even if you are having the data also in C drive, yeah. but when we started the system, it will it will run the components which is related to operating system. <laughs> I mean, it will it will open. I mean, it will start our system faster. Correct. Than compared yeah. To See, it's a solid me. drive. It's a solid drive. Uh, yes. It is for the good performance. We can use it. Okay. And I need a performance in a C drive, my operating system. That's why what I did. I install a operating system in my C drive that is of SSD. Okay. When compared I'll... to HDD and SSD, SSD will boot up our system faster way. Correct. HDD will take a bit more time. Come back Correct. to assist. Correct. If you will see my system timing, uh, I don't know where it is, but it will be uh, within a sec uh, detail somewhere. It will be available. Uh, from last 15 hours, it is started. Okay. I forgot it where it I can see. But yeah, it will say that how much time it took to come up. Okay. Somewhere in the startup or somewhere it shows. Yeah, BIOS time is 3.6 seconds. My laptop started always in 3.6 seconds. And how much is yours? It may be minutes, right? That's the difference between the BIOS or what we can say in an operating system at the benefit of SSD. Same thing, there are multiple options are available for storage in, in the AWS also, like Gateway, S3, CrowdFund, Glacier. Multiple varieties of options are available. Same thing for databases, as you know, multiple varieties of databases like Oracle, MySQL, Postgres, a um, lot of others, right? Same way, other varieties of databases also available in AWS. Applications, sending a message, sending a emails, uh, transfer a data from one place to another, that type of applications also available in AWS. Okay. And some more deployment or administration related softwares also available in AWS. And out of this, out of this screenshot, if you will understand 10 DevOps services, okay, from this image, you are learned, the, you have learned the AWS. That is possible. Okay. So what I want to you, I will teach the top AWS services from this image itself. Don't trust me. Take the screenshot of this image. Ask with everyone, do we have to learn this much? He will say, if you will learn this much, more than enough to become a DevOps engineer. If anyone confirm, I will be happy. Otherwise, I have to prove it again. Can anyone confirm? Is that more than enough? Yeah, as far as I know, these are uh, more than enough. Yes. See, Raja is a 10-year experienced person. He's telling, then I have to accept that point. Okay. Yes, same thing, guys. Okay. And these all things we are going to learn in our tomorrow sessions also the overview of AWS services, which we are going to give it into the tomorrow session. Okay, EC2, AMI, ELB, auto scaling, what on this? Here I am giving a list of 2025 services, but yeah, we are going to discuss this briefly on with practicals in the tomorrow session. Same timing, same link, uh, but I have a small request. You have to bring your friends also because the count is very less. Okay, it will be good for them as well. Okay. So we are going to discuss this point into the tomorrow session with all these details. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And guys, I need a small favor from your side. Uh, this is my website. Okay. At least uh, join me as a community on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe my channel, please. 
it will be good for us so that we can reach to the more people uh, like you guys okay this is my youtube channel please subscribe it at least you will see my videos okay if i will publish anything or i need a small feedback how the things are going on uh, if you will keep on a my facebook channel or my, any of the com or social media it will be good for us it makes sense ajay harsha parth raja shrikan yeah yeah sure cool and guys i am i will tell you please join this batch you will learn a lot okay get more details just click on this i will give you this link okay uh, this is from 12 december 8 mrt here is the link just fill this detail and you will get a detail about the batch everything of via the mail so from december 12 to uh, it will take two and a half months okay uh, you have to calculate 50 days okay 12 december 12 january 12 around 20th of february okay okay around 20th of february i need it for sure yeah 17th feb i'm expecting 17 to 25th ajay at least unmute and talk with me please harsha Sir, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll share my feedback and uh, I'll try to get confirmed by email. Sure, sure, definitely. And if you want to talk with me right away, I'm in front of you. <laughs> uh, nothing much, sir. Actually, I joined late, so okay. uh, I'll discuss later. Okay. Have you understood whatever, wherever you are? Uh, yeah, sir. The basic services, like what, uh, after I joined, uh, I'll good, like, understand the things. Cool, cool. Good, good. What about Ajay? Yeah, because I had already spoken with you. Uh, Achha, you already. <laughs> <laughs> when, when? <laughs> Last week itself. Okay, but you haven't joined me. That's why I haven't saved your number. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, as soon as, guys, um, you will, you are very near to joining or kind of thing, I will save your number. I will add you into the group. Okay? Yeah, okay. So, Raj, Raj, what's your plan? Yeah, why I'll join. I'll join, I'll join. Okay, cool, cool. Shikan, Shika, Shalendra. Hey, Shalendra, what about you? Yes. Shik, uh, Shikan, any question? Shalendra, any question you have? Not at Why? At least one question, please. At least one question, it will be good. Uh, Shubham. Uh, Shrika, I get your messages from the WhatsApp. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> cool, cool. Yes. Uh, Sai Kiran, anything? Parth, you want to say anything? Uh, no, sir. I'll just uh, revise the topics once again. Yep, yep. Definitely. You are welcome. I will not charge anything for you. Okay. But at sure, least sir. bring some friends. Okay. That yeah, is sure. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mutual benefits. Agree? Uh, definitely, sir. Good, good, good. Yes. Yep. Uh, guys, any question? Anything else? Uh, guys, if there is no question, we can wind up for today. Here is my WhatsApp number. Okay. Uh, please respond okay uh, if you're really interested to join me you can join me right away by today i will give some good discount okay if you will join by today cool okay guys thank you bye bye and after that i will not give any discount if i will get a desired number of my 10 students okay guys bye bye thank you uh, let's meet tomorrow on the same link, please. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.